All right, guys, we got to talk about a story that has flew under my radar, so I'm a little late getting to it, okay? But I guess better late than never, but never late is better, <laughs> right? That's what they say. So I'm getting to it, okay? And uh, it is the story about the Good Hue Police Department, okay? Good Hue is a small town out in Minnesota. It is somewhat near Minneapolis, I believe, and their whole police department is resigning in protest because they don't feel like they're getting paid enough, okay? There's some issues going on with the police department there, and they have all quit. Now, this comes amid the movement across the country from woke progressives to defund the police, to demonize police, to make it harder to be police. And this is something that we're seeing happening all over the country. OK, because this is the fifth time in the last two years that a entire police department said we're done. Right. We're quitting. OK. And this is amid a nationwide trend of police officers quitting. OK, they're quitting. They're retiring. They're hanging it up. They're saying, hey, we don't want to be police officers anymore. OK, now in the background, again, in Minneapolis, which is a I guess a neighboring city, um, you have the officers that were involved in the George Floyd incident, the ones that are not Derek Chauvin, the, the people that actually really didn't have that much to do with George Floyd's death. They are getting the book thrown at them and they're facing time in jail for essentially doing things like crowd control. Okay. They, they finally got the last guy that was involved in the George Floyd incident. And I want to go ahead and play this clip here from MSNBC of them talking about this because, again, this is part of the reason why you're seeing officers quit in this country because you can go to jail for doing your job. 36 past the hour, we are following some breaking news. Our NBC News affiliate in Minnesota is reporting that a judge handed out sentencing for the final officer charged in the killing of George Floyd. Joining us now is NBC's Shaquille Brewster. Shaq, good morning. Put some of this into perspective. What are we seeing today? Hi there, Jose. Well, this sentence of 57 months in prison for Tu Tao, one of the officers involved in George Floyd's death, is significantly higher than even what prosecutors were asking for. They were asking for 51 months behind bars. Important to note here that once you factor in factors like good behavior and time served, uh, this will not result in him serving any significant more time behind bars. It'll just be about two more months. But this is the end. This is the final officer connected to George Floyd's death the final criminal case connected to that uh, and it marks the end of that uh, procedure yeah so this guy got the book thrown at him okay 4.75 years doing a hard time in prison breaking big rocks into little rocks because he did crowd control he was keeping bystanders from uh interrupting as Derek Chauvin was restraining George Floyd okay basically again he was keeping civilians from getting involved in the incident, right? I mean, he was effectively doing what he thought was the right thing at the time, 4.75 years behind bars, okay? That's what's happening to police officers in this country, okay? And that, again, leads me to this story right here out of Goodhue, uh, Minnesota, where the whole police department decided to resign and quit. Take a look. This is heartbreaking to us. This morning, Goodhue, Minnesota is scrambling. The entire police force is resigning, leaving the city's roughly 1,500 residents in law enforcement limbo. But Goodhue's mayor is sending an optimistic message about the future of the force. We are going to rise above this, and I'm confident that we will have a police department again. The main reason for the officers leaving? Disputes over their pay. The Goodhue police chief, who resigned late last week, had previously requested higher pay for his officers and better recruitment efforts. The department was comprised of many part-time officers who were loyal to their chief. We were really there for him more so than, you know, needing a part-time job. And so with him going, there just really wasn't any need for any of us to stick around. Police departments nationwide are facing a vicious cycle of retirement, resignations, and fewer hires. A survey released in April indicated that while police departments are recruiting more officers compared to 2020, departments saw 47 percent more resignations and 19 percent more retirements in 2022 compared to 2019. The staffing crunch is leaving some communities underprotected. Back in Goodhue, residents are on edge. 
it's it's just unnerving to know that they may not be there even though yes uh they're talking about having good hue county come in i just prefer good hue having their own police department the city's mayor says the former police chief josh smith and another full-time officer will stay on the force until the 24th after that the good hue county sheriff's office will be taking over yeah so you see now you heard that now i'm gonna get to the root of the problem here i'm gonna get down to the core of this issue the quiet part that nobody wants to say out loud about the recruiting crisis that we're seeing in policing and also in the military, in law enforcement or armed services in general, right? And, and just protection, security. We're having a recruiting crisis. The reason why, in my opinion, has to do partly, okay, with the demonization of white males in this country, right? I mean, the military is being told they're too white. Police are being told they're too white. And guess what? Now, white males are quitting or choosing not to serve. Specifically, if you are a young Democrat, okay, listen to this wild statistic, right? If you're a young Democratic white man, you are significantly less interested in military service than young black women, who are interested at 9.5% and young white Republican women who are interested at 10.9%. You're less interested than young black men who are interested at 12.1%, young Hispanic men at 14.3%, and white Republican men who are interested at 25.3%. So young liberal white men <laughs> don't want to be in the military. Young white male Democrats in 2015 were 18.6%. They were interested in serving or expressed desire to serve in the military. By 2021, that number dropped to 2.9%. 2.9%. Wow. Wow. Okay. And again, this is according to Monitoring the Future Survey. Okay. That's the source here. Um, again, that's, to, in, in my opinion, okay, uh, the liberalification of men, okay, is part of the reason why we're seeing this crisis when it comes to military recruitment and police recruitment. You're seeing a lot of police retire after the George Floyd era because now there's been so much demonization of police. There's been so much pressure to cut the budgets of police to make police be the enemy of the people when a lot of these guys, a vast majority of these guys, overwhelmingly, they're good guys, right? They're good dudes. Don't get me wrong. I've had run-ins with police that I did not think were fair. However, just because I don't think it's fair doesn't mean that it was racist, okay? Doesn't mean it was racist. Doesn't mean I'm going to demonize all police officers. All police officers aren't bad. What I realize that the woke revolutionaries don't realize is that when it comes to policy, there are no solutions, right? There are no solutions in life, only trade-offs, okay? Only trade-offs. Something that may be a net positive is going to have some negatives, right? That's why we call it a net positive. But I would much rather have the net positive than the net negative, okay? There are some things that are going to be uncomfortable. There are uncomfortable realities when it comes to policing. However, I am willing to accept these uncomfortable realities in exchange for not having crime be out of control, <laughs> in exchange for having a functional police department and law and order, okay? I'm willing to accept that police are probably going to end up beating up an innocent person. They're going to end up violating somebody's rights. That, you know, people unjustly are going to be shot and killed if they're unarmed. However, that happened so little in this country that, to me, it's worth the trade-off of actually having police, okay? Having a well-functioning and well-funded police department where we have law and order and you know, little crime, I'm much more willing to have that than to have the trade-off of demonizing police and defunding police because a couple of police officers are bad apples. Uh, and then we have no law and order and crime is out of control. But again, people, they, they don't grasp this concept, right? That there, there is no perfect solution to anything. 
So what happens when you overreact to what is not a real issue in this country? Police brutality is not a real issue. It's not. Not if you're not a criminal. Yeah, some people in very, very, very rare instances, they're going to get screwed over. Police are going to do something screwed up. But that doesn't mean that you need to overhaul the whole system. You don't need to do it. It doesn't mean that the whole system in and of itself is bad. It simply means that as a result of having the system, you're going to have some negative outcomes. It's not going to be perfect. That's what it means. Right. And you have to live with that because the alternative is much worse. So here you have this police department resigning because they're not being paid enough. And they probably realize that, hey, the pay versus the chance that I'm taking of essentially losing my job, losing my livelihood, being called a white supremacist for the rest of my life, because it just so happens in the course of doing my job, I had to rough up an individual who happened to be black because that person was not complying or he was fighting back. Um, if it just so happens that I have to do that to protect my life, to go home back to my family and I get fired for it, I end up on national television for it, I get demonized for the rest of my life for it, I, I don't think that this, this job is worth it, right? It's not worth the chance, right? It's not worth the chance. Again, this is what happens when you, you say that policing is racist, where you push conspiracy theories that all white police officers are out here to rough up black guys and to murder them in the streets, which is the conspiracy that the left pushed that actually caused real world violence and, and harm, right? Social media doesn't seem to be interested in censoring people who push that conspiracy, but you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm just saying, I understand where some of these guys are coming from. Okay, I, I really do. I get it. It is not a coincidence that this stuff happened after George Floyd. After you saw what happened, after you saw how the country essentially turned their back on police, they all started to quit, right? They all started to quit. And as a result, you're going to have less law and order. Now, you know, some of you libertarian types might say, you know what, this is a good thing. This is great. We can protect ourselves, right? Which, hey, I agree. In a smaller town, I think it might make more sense. It might actually uh, be a good thing, okay? To a certain extent. You don't need as many police because more people are armed, Okay, more people have the ability to protect themselves. You may not need as, as much as many police, right? But you do need some. Okay, I don't think it's a good thing that this small town had all their police officers resign, even if it was only six or seven of them. But in these big liberal cities, they definitely need police. Absolutely, they need police. So what, what is happening, again, it, it is negatively affecting these liberal cities more than anywhere in this country in regards to police recruitment. And those are the places that need it the most because that's where a vast majority of the criminals are, right? So, look, I mean, I don't really blame this police department considering how policing is not a job that I think many people really want to do in this country anymore considering the net return on it. So I kind of get it. Uh, it's just a story that I really don't want to continue to see in this country because it's not a good thing when police are resigning in mass. OK, it's just going to be more chaos and destruction because of it. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> I'm just some random dude on the Internet. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.